Reef DVM's coming at you here today with kind of exciting news. We're starting to move some coral over into the big fish tank, and that means getting them acclimated. We've got the lights above the tank. Um, the AI Vegas are just really fun to play with. Um, and we've got them over our rock structure just like we intended. And then over our sand bed where we want to put some pretty intense corals in the future, we've got a couple Kessel 360 ends. Those Kessel 360 ends will probably give us the power we want. Many of you probably remember one of our 55 gallons that looked like this. Um, I'm going to use this snapshot picture to show you how we're going to start moving corals over. One of the things we decided was is to try not to burn them quite so badly, is to try to place them in areas that were similar to where they came from. And to do that, just use a simple par meter and go get some values as to what they're used to. Now granted, they're not used to these lights in the dream tank, and that's going to change things. And they're certainly not used to the type of light the intensity, and the hours. So even though I'm using a par meter, there's a lot more science to this husbandry than just taking a few numbers and sticking coral in a tank. So here's our dream tank. As you can see, it's quite a bit different than our 55 gallon. And we're going to go and start placing some corals in it. One of them we already started with was the Duncan colony. We're moving some of our frags up. And we're certainly going to start moving some of our clams and other critters up too. But we want to not hurt them. Um, not a lot of them can take this intense lighting, so we want to be careful as we start in. So we went out and got ourselves our par meter from the basement, uh, blew the dust off it. Really simple tool. These things can be picked up at Bulk Reef Supply or pretty much anywhere online. They work quite nicely. Um, you know, a little bit of, you know, figuring it out, and you'll figure out where the par values are in your tank at different locations. Again, a little bit on the techie side, and remember, it's not, you know, the end all to moving coral and placing coral, but it certainly can help. So here are our par values that we've achieved. Um, these par values correspond obviously in this tank only and they'll be different in your tank. But we took this picture of the par values, compared it to the picture previous we had, and then we started moving corals into the tank in similar locations, at least at the beginning, so that we don't hurt them. This is just a cool way of using a tool to help move things from one tank to another and not hurt them as badly. Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe to support our channel. Thank you.